I'm not gonna lie. I think I finally understand progressive enhancement. There's a reason why tools like HTMX, and in this case, what I'm showing is a deeper dive into Alpine Ajax, which I found a little bit ago, but I've been really loving, is because you can build a project, a product using just Laravel, using just Blade, and then add some fancy Ajax stuff to it. Now, I'm not giving up Livewire. I love Livewire. I love what you can do. And I love having everything in one code file, which is why I love Livewire Vault. But I get for some projects, this is great, especially if it's a very server side rendered and server driven project. And there's stuff that you can do where you can just have a to do list like this, but enhance it so it feels quick, it feels fast, but without changing anything without adding too much javascript and you know, without breaking it when javascript is disabled so this is just straight blade right now we have a new to do uh, that can add here we click submit it refreshes the page which pulls in the new to do's how can we add alpine ajax and in which is alpine's version of htmx so alpine ajax uh, is basically an htmx alternative i should say but with a little bit more alpine centric method so we have an x init x target we have things like this dollar sign ajax where we can call ajax methods within our alpine within our html alpine ajax is just an alternative to htmx but there's some neat little things that i've learned about it and when i made a previous video just a couple of days ago talking about alpine ajax as a plugin i initially thought it was very similar to htmx in the sense that if i'm writing some code and i have this web route if i want an htmx version i need to just return the html that i want to render the cool thing is we're not going to change anything in this route and alpine ajax just works in the sense where we're just returning the new route returning back in this case refreshing the page so that we can pass in those to do's to the welcome view and here's what's going to happen i have alpine ajax already uh, registered and installed and if you do this you follow the instructions i use laravel breeze which has livewire already installed but i need to register an alpine plugin like this installing alpine from this livewire.esm and this is just because i used breeze to have alpine js and tailwind and all of that installed from the get-go but if you're using laravel blade you can install alpine in that way if you're using the blade version of laravel breeze i should say now in our welcome view all i have to do is add to this form we have an action already and this is some data to just say we're going to set the text to that data so we can reset it on form load what we just need to do is say x init and then x target equals and then we have this idea of to do's down here so we want to target the to do's and then that's it surprising right well, let's give it a go Refreshing the page, add it to do, hello there, submit, and it just works. Let's see, let's inspect the page and take a look at the network requests. Hi, YouTube, submit, pop this down here. We have this network request for to do, which is essentially returning the same page as this to do. And you can see here, it's returning the same page because we now have to clear this right here it's not a refresh this isn't being cleared before if i was to remove these two things again x init and x dash target save this refresh clear submit it's cleared because it's it's a full refresh if i wanted to let's go ahead and show in the web maybe we'll say we'll sleep this for a little bit here sleep of two seconds this is the full page refresh hello there submit full page refresh you can see that going on up there but if i was to add that x init and x target back in add a new one submit you can see that the page is not reloading it's just waiting for it to get back that ajax using 
Alpine Ajax. Why don't I go ahead and clear these out real quick just to start off fresh. Okay, how can we do that with this delete button down here? Again, this is just Laravel break blade. We have a method of post and we don't necessarily even need to call this method there we just have this csrf with a method of delete here so i can do the same thing we can add x dash init and then x target of to do's because all we're asking for in our web route is we're returning back the page but alpine ajax says what is the to do target and i'm going to replace those so new one Submit, we're sleeping for a new one. No sleep, and now let's delete one. And get method is not supported, aha, because we do need the method of post. I don't know why I deleted that. Method post, okay, because Laravel Blade does need that. We'll refresh, delete and it just works. Now I wonder what if we remove this X target. I believe, I think it just refreshes the page. Let's see. Let's change this sleep here. Or move this target too, just to see. Yeah, that does look like a full page refresh. So I think the target shows you that, or shows Alpine Ajax that when this page does change, we're going to look for the idea of to-dos and then refresh that. So we'll do that same thing here. X target equals to-dos and delete, delete, new one. Howdy, there we go. Okay, Alpine Ajax, I, I get it. There's so much more that I haven't necessarily been able to dive into just yet in terms of, okay, what is happening like when it's loading? We'll go ahead and see, like loading indicator here. We have this X target, and then we can add Alpine Ajax adds aria-busy equals true to targets while a request is processing. Okay, very interesting. So I'm curious if I just throw this in here. Let's see what this does. I throw this into my app.css and refresh. Hi there. Ooh, interesting. That's neat. <laughs> See, okay, so there's probably a bunch of different ways to do that, but that's the way that they're just showing in their example here. I like it. It's similar to Livewire. We have this wire loading, so you have this aria-busy attribute that's being added to this element. Let's see what else. So you can have multiple targets. So it's the form is the contacts form. Okay, so very interesting. I think that's just HTML though. The Ajax form is targeting the contacts table. Very interesting. I bet it sends that along. Yeah, the part that really just uh, surprised me was that I wouldn't have to add anything to the route. Usually I would have thought I had, would have had to return a fragment that is then shown in place of whatever my target is. But Alpine Ajax is, it's fancy in the sense that it's looking for whatever to do's is then changed. In that case, our target of to do's, we're just changing that out and we don't have to add anything else. Again, we only added X init X target to do's and everything works. And the part that we'll need to change here is if we take a look at up here, hi there, this isn't changed. This does not refresh because there's just no page load. The web route is returning refreshed and we can disable JavaScript and it would still all work the same way. But what needs to happen then is we need to figure out how to clear this text. And this is why I modeled it here when we can go like this, we can say, Ajax, and we can say on success. I believe that's what they do. Let's take a look. Reference, Ajax success. Yeah, Ajax, okay, yeah, success. Yeah, so we can say equals, and then we can say text. That should be it because we're saying on, we want the text in case okay, so the modeling, the text, that should be it. Right. Let's see. There we go. 
I'm pr pressing enter instead of pressing the submit button because it's a form, so new one. And because we're clearing the text on the Ajax request success, and I wonder if we can even say, okay, only when this, let's, let's say I have multiple, because if I click this, click delete, I would assume that this might clear. It doesn't clear. Very interesting. So it must do something where this Ajax success is only for this form. Ah, that's very nice. So you can say, I only want this to be cleared in this case, if this forms Ajax request is successful. I wonder if there's a way to do it for any Ajax requests. Let's see, Ajax, no. Okay, either way, it doesn't really matter too much. But that being said, I understand why something like this is popular. The appeal for Alpine Ajax for HTMX for stuff of that uh, regard. Because while I'm not gonna be changing from Livewire anytime soon, if I had a specific use case where I needed this to be progressively enhanced, AKA just a strict blade server rendered forms for all of my projects, but it'd be nice to have Ajax every once in a while, I might reach for something like this where I don't necessarily have to worry about what happens if someone's on a slow internet and JavaScript isn't loading quite yet, or maybe it's for healthcare and they don't really have JavaScript enabled for whatever reason on their devices. So I get it. I think I'm a believer now. So yeah, whatever you're building, whatever you're conjuring up within your projects, maybe progressive enhancement can work for you. And if so, Take a look at Alpine Ajax. And anyways, keep creating.